Hello, Cello community. My name's Chris Wilson. In this video, we'll be going over a basic definition of Cello, followed by how to stake Cello using the native Cello wallet, aptly named Cello Wallet. If you're not sure what staking is, make sure to check out our What is Staking video linked in the description. But first, what is Cello? Cello is a mobile first, carbon neutral blockchain that makes decentralized financial tools and services accessible to anyone with a mobile phone, bringing the powerful benefits of DeFi to the users of the 6 billion smartphones in circulation today. Cello is a complete stack of new blockchain software, including core libraries that run on the blockchain and end user applications that communicate with that logic. Cello is a platform native reserve and governance asset, serving as the primary asset in the stability mechanism Minto that supports stable digital currencies like CUSD and CEURO. Cello's primary function is stabilization, ensuring the healthy velocity of assets that globally circulate and transact on Cello. Cello also serves as the key governance mechanism for the Cello platform. Owning and using Cello supports the growth of development for the Cello platform by enabling each Cello owner to vote on proposals that direct how the core technology operates today and in the future. Now that we know a little bit more about Cello and what Cello is working to solve, let's take a look at some key staking facts. Staking Cello is non-custodial, meaning you stay in control of your keys the whole time. Funds must be locked before they can be staked. Unlocking tokens or unbonding takes three days, after delegating your stake, you'll need to activate your stake and vote one day later for the stake to start accruing rewards. There are no slashing risks for stakers, only validators are exposed to this risk, and Cello rewards are automatically restaked, compounding daily. If you would like to learn more about Cello, check out figment.io slash protocols slash Cello. Now we can take a look at how to participate in and secure the Cello network by staking. And to get started, we'll go to cellowallet.app. And once you've landed here, you can either use the one in the browser by creating a new account and going, I understand. And then you will follow your prompts here. If you're not sure how to store your recovery phrase, which is your, your private keys, make sure to check out our what is custody video linked in the description before continuing this process. And if you don't want to use it in the browser, you can also download for desktop. That's what I have done for Windows. Once you have downloaded the program and stored your private keys safely, once again, if you're not sure how to store your private keys or you're not familiar with handling passphrases, go ahead and watch our What is Custody video linked in the description. Once you have your wallet installed and private keys properly stored, we're ready to fund our wallet. So let's go ahead and open up our wallet we can log into it. And now we're inside of our wallet and this is how it looks when you first jump into it. In order to fund this wallet, we can go more and we can go receive. And there is our address that we can receive to and a QR code that we can receive our funds to. So if you pull up your exchange on your phone, you can scan the QR code or you can copy paste this address into the send field on the exchange. Make sure to send a test amount just to make sure you have it correct before sending the full amount. That way, if you have it wrong or something, you're not running the risk of losing all your assets. Now that we have our private key and seed phrase stored securely and our wallet is funded, we can start the staking process. The first step is going to be to lock the number of tokens that you wish to stake. Only lock cello can be staked. It's important to remember that it takes three days for your tokens to unlock or unbond once they've been locked. So the first step is locking our tokens. We can click on lock and the action we're doing is locking. And let's go ahead and choose an amount. And we will lock 50. Click continue. Click lock. Your lock request was successful. Okay. And now we are going to go to stake. Here, we'll pick a validator to delegate to. This is where we can help influence the decentralization of the network. Delegating to a validator can be thought of as you voting for that node to create the next block in the chain for the network. You wouldn't want everyone to delegate to one validator 
because then that validator would have a majority. At the same time, you also don't want to delegate to just any validator because if they go offline or get slashed, you could miss rewards from your stake. Make sure to look for validators with good uptimes. If they are present in governance and community, that's all the better. For these reasons, I like to delegate to Figment and we can see Figment right here. And I will vote for this group by clicking the vote button. And we can go with our max amount available to vote and continue. And here we can see the fee, incredible. And now we can vote. And here you'll get the reminder that validator votes must be activated around 24 hours after voting. So we'll want to return tomorrow to activate our votes and start earning rewards. 24 hours later. All right, so it's been one day. We can go back and open up our Cello Wallet app. And now that we're signed back in, we can go back to the staking tab and we will click on Figment Network and we will vote for group. We will go under, under activate and we'll see our 50 is ready to activate. We can click continue and activate. Congratulations. Now your stake is actively accruing rewards for securing the network. It's that easy. And remember, they will compound daily, so there's nothing more to do. How awesome is that? Congratulations, you've successfully staked Cello. If you have any questions, be sure to join Staking Hub, our one-stop shop for all things staking. So for a bonus here, if you don't want to come back tomorrow and revote your delegation, what you can do is download Cello Terminal. Cello Terminal is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux, and I have the Windows version, and we'll go ahead and open it up. What's cool is you can use the same seed phrase that you generated from your Cello wallet in to import your wallet into Cello Terminal and have access across both wallets to the same assets. So what you can do is go down to More Apps, and you'll click on Add, right like this, to Cello Vote. And once we come into Cello Vote, we can see our locked Cello and our votes pending. And we can go ahead and remove our authorization. You won't have that option if this is the first time that you're doing it. So what Cello Vote does here is it automatically casts your votes for you. So since we set our validator that we wanted to stake with, um, in Cello Wallet, we, we decided that we wanted to vote for Figment Networks. This will automatically vote our votes so that they start accruing rewards tomorrow so we don't have to come back and do it. And you can simply just authorize it. And for safety reasons, it'll take 30 minutes for me to reauthorize it. But that's how easy it is to do it if you wanted to do it that way. Thank you for watching. And in case you missed it, be sure to check out our other videos in the What That series. These videos include a breakdown of Web3, Staking, ETH2, and Custody. You can find links to these videos and more in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on all things Figment. At Figment, we're on a journey to create a truly decentralized internet where users can freely interact, share, collaborate, and exchange goods and services in a trustless environment. To help deliver that vision, we offer staking, middleware, and application layer solutions for token holders and developers investing in and building on Web3 technologies. We're on a journey to create a better internet, keeping privacy, data ownership, transparency, and censorship resistance top of mind. At Figment, we offer a couple of different services to help users participate in staking. Hubble from Figment is a next generation Web3 explorer, allowing token holders the ability to stake tokens manage governance proposals, monitor validator performance, and more. Hubble is a powerful tool in the Web3 world. Along with Hubble, we offer Figment Prime for VC funds, exchanges, custodians, hedge funds, fiduciaries, and more. Figment Prime is a service to support large token holders and institutions. Prime offers a surplus of features, including a proprietary portfolio management dashboard, exportable tax-compliant reporting files, industry-leading SLAs, volume and time-based fee rebates, advanced support, monthly information calls with our analysts and team, 
and access to our internal due diligence library, tools, and more. Our mission is to make it simpler for token holders, developers, and other network participants to use, build, and govern blockchains. Our custodial partners will give you peace of mind by safely and seamlessly securing your tokens in a compliant way while still giving you the ability to generate staking returns and participate in network governance. If you're interested in learning more about Figment or our services, you can find all the relevant links in the description below or at figment.io. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video valuable, make sure to share it with a friend. As always, if you have any questions about staking or how Figment simplifies blockchain for you or your organization, you can join Staking Hub with the link in the description. I look forward to seeing you there, and until next time, happy staking.